so basically, you know, London and New York City are pretty much wired to wired with closed circuit uh, surveillance. So my question to you is, do you think it's worthwhile? I mean, we've been attacked in the past. Is there a reason to be surveilled all the time? Ooh, I, I, um... I don't think that it's anything new that we're being surveyed, surveilled rather, and um, it's probably been going on a long time. I think that perhaps it is a problem that we all, that we don't question how much of it is necessary, and it's quite as much as we used to. I mean, were this to be public knowledge a while ago, I think there would be more of an outcry. I understand why there isn't. But on the other hand, the, the, the increasing amount of times I hear people say, well, I've got nothing to hide, so what does it matter if the government looks at everything I'm doing? I don't think that that's the end of the argument, because if you, if you rest with that, then you can trickle into, you know, how, how much do you trust that the government is, is looking at you for its own reasons or your own reasons, and you, you can easily tip into a police state where you don't, you know, not saying that we would, but it's a conversation that needs to keep having. You can't just sit back and allow it to be fine. I think it's important that people are aware of it. All right, so let's continue in this uh, vein of thought. Um, Stephen Knight is a brilliant mm -hmm. writer. I love his screenplay. And, you know, his, his major theme in this movie, apart from the surveillance, is the uh -huh. idea of hidden evidence, uh -huh. the idea that there's something so secret it has to be kept secret or the public is well, in danger. Well, it's basically the same thing. I don't think there's... The, I mean, I know it's not technically the same thing, but it's basically the issues, it, what it, it's metaphorically standing for is the same thing, which is the tension between what we demand for our civil liberties and what we demand to live the way we carry on living. And the two can't butt up against each other and will continue to butt up against each other. And it's a very problematic area because for a clo a clo the reason why closed court proceedings exist is to protect the government's way of preserving national security. And by the same token, it contravenes every rule of law and basic justice system that the that, you know, that our law courts have been predicated on forever, which is that you know, a defendant is entitled to a fair trial. And if, they, if their evidence is heard in a closed court proceeding, they don't have a fair trial. That's just that's out the window. Um, so again, it's like these two things butt up against each other. So you have to find, we all as societies have to find the sort of middle grounds where it works for both parties somehow that it preserves the democracy, et cetera, et cetera.